Welcome to another sample CTA test video. I am an Azure Solutions Architect, an Azure Administrator, an Azure Security Engineer, as well as a certified Kubernetes application developer. CTA sample test question 10, network policy. Network policy is also uh, a skill that is tested on the CCAD exam. Uh, this network policy question has gone just a little deeper than the CCAD questions I created. The skill level for this question is difficult. This question falls under the services and networking part of the CCAD curriculum. In particular, understanding pod-to-pod -pod communication as well as network policy. The question. Create three pods. One pod running Nginx and the other two running BusyBox. Create a network policy which allows the first BusyBox pod to ac access the Nginx pod on port 80. The second BusyBox pod should be denied access to the Nginx pod. I create a diagram to help understand what the question is and how I'm going to go about to solve it. Here we have the Nginx pod with a label of app equals web. And here we have two pods of BusyBox. First one pod one, the other one called pod two, and type equals monitoring of pod one. Uh, type equals monitoring label and type equals non mon label. And here is the network policy. It's basically saying from any pod with type monitoring to any pod with app equals web label allow traffic. And that's what we're going. That's what we want to create. All right, let's get started. Okay, welcome. As mentioned, the network policy you want to use is already created on my GitHub site. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And you can see basically it's saying uh, this is the from. So anything from PodWise that has a label of monitoring is going to be allowed to uh, communicate with any pod with a label of app web. So when we create our pods, it's important that we create the Nginx one with app web and the BusyBox ones with type monitoring labels. Now you're not going to have this on the exam, so if you're on the exam, I would go to documentation, type in here network policy. Oh, you guys can't see that. Hold on. Minimize. Yep, so come to this search area here. Type in network policy. And it chooses the first one. And they got a nice little sample. So we'll go ahead and use this one and compare it. And it should be just like the one that's in my GitHub site when we're done. It has more information than we need. So let me just, just copy. We don't need ports or egress. So we need. Uh, how can I get this on my screen? I'm going to have to maximize my screen. There we go, and we need to right to there. So copy, and we'll say vim. I'm gonna scratch my ear. Network policy dot yaml. Huh. <laughs> Don't want to use that one. Let me remove that.
There we go. Now, Vim Network Policy YAML. We do a paste. And there we go. See what don't we'll do an insert. We can edit. Uh, don't need to do a namespace selector. Don't need an IP block. And get rid of egress. And here we go. So we need this to be, I believe, it is app equals web, according to our diagram. And then down here we want type equals monitoring. N firing. All right, that should do it. Uh, should get a different name. How about question ten? So we'll do a cube CTL create slash F network policy yellow. Yeah. We do a cube CTL describe network policies. Gives you a nice little description of what's going on with it. You can double check your work. So you can say anything coming from type equals monitoring is going to be allowed if that pod is app equals web. So looking pretty, pretty, pretty good there. All right, now we want to create the uh, Nginx pod. Clear my screen, QCTO, create, and we'll just call this, it'll be a good name, about Nginx pod. We'll put Q10 in front of it. Image equals Nginx. Labels equal app equals web and port equals 80. So I'll run this out to a YAML file. Uh, uh, not create, run. Maybe they did that in O. Try run equals client. Am I losing my mind? I don't think it's a zero. Let's see what we got wrong here. Try run equals client dash O. We direct to there. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Oh. And the labels command. Yep, it is S. So. Ah. Uh, I don't think I had it in quotes. Huh. 
Still complaining about that. Let's see. Nginx. Image goes Nginx. All right, great. Not sure what I was doing wrong with the, with the dry run, but nevertheless. All right, let's see our get pods. And we're running, so excellent. And if we do a get pod show labels. And app equals web. So we're going pretty, pretty, pretty good. Wasn't all that smooth, but we got it done. All right, now we need to create the two busy box pods. So let's do a cube CTL one question ten pod working image equals nginx labels equal type equals monitoring and we'll do a this time hopefully I get this right oh look the yaml word and we'll call it Q10 pod working dot yaml. All right, Vim Q10 pod working. All right, we want to change here. Name's good. Label looks good. We need to add busy. Uh, well, well, I got Nginx there. I meant to put typed in busy box. Busy box is one of those images that dies. Uh, so we have to go kind of sleep command. And come back to here. And this is the command I want. Put that right there. And that should, I think that's all we need. All right, we'll do a QCTL. Create F Q skill get pods show labels and there we go type goes monitoring pretty good let's create our other one we have this here we want to call it not working we'll fix this one less thing to worry about. And we'll put pod. Put the word not right there. Good. Put not. We need our. Command in here. Find our creates. Put the word not in there. Find our command to show pod show labels. And we're running. Alright, so our we're ready for the next and final step.
I hope, well, I hope there's no troubleshooting. But uh, next step is to test our work. So let's get to it. All right, now you want to test. And I just realized something. <clears throat> the pod, <clears throat> not working, has the wrong labels. That's going to work. So we need to go change that. Can you change labels on the fly? Let's see. QTL edit pod Q10 pod not oh, working. I hardly ever use this edit command because so much stuff doesn't work. You can't edit. But I'm curious. Labels, we want this to be anything but monitoring. So we'll say speed racer. Yep, looks like that did it. All right, so we're ready to test. All right, so it's a cube CTL get pods dash o wide. Whoops. That gets us the IP address of the Nginx pod. 10.4401, excellent. So kubectl exec into q10. Pod network we want working and dash it dash dash bin slash sh. Let's do a w get on ten dot forty four dot zero dot one or eighty and this should connect hopefully. All right, excellent. So now let's do the same thing on QPad not working. And we get 10.44.0.1. And here we want it not to work. And it looks like our policy is rejecting communication. So yet again, full credit. That's ex excellence. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.